Hello everyone, welcome to Roots to Sprouts. In this video, we are going to talk about the freeze we had in February between 13th and 17th last month and uh, what it has caused to our plants and especially this one particular variety which is oleander. You all must be very familiar about this plant which is green and flowers beautiful during summer and spring. This is one of the visual from early spring last year 2020 and you can see the new shoots coming from the ground and also look at the leaves how dense they are. This particular variety is a hardy variety of oleander and we never had a problem during the normal freeze that what we will have in Dallas during the winter time. But what we had last month, that's something quite abnormal for Dallas. And this is the 2021 February weather chart. And you can see how the weather dropped between February 13th and 17th particularly. And this is the particular time window where the plants are affected. So what you see here in this plant, it's all brown leaves and it is brittle. You can, you can see how brittle it is. So it's, it's dead. So it's not going to bring any new leaves in the stem anymore. Even though these leaves are dead and the stems are not going to bring leaves, there are live tissues at the bottom and that will help to reproduce new stem and a new plant. So you don't need to worry about the plant is dead, how it's going to grow back. Once you prune this, the new shoot, the new generation that it's going to come from this root in next six months or maybe in summer you will have another six foot tall oleander plant standing in the same place let's take a closer look of this plant now you can see the stem is completely brown here at the same time this stem you can see it's green so it doesn't mean it's going to bring some new green leaves it's dead the leaves are dead and even though the stem is live it won't produce new leaves so the only best way to bring this plant back to life how it was before, you have to prune this plant completely at the bottom. Yes, it looks tough after growing the plants for so many years, making, cutting the plant down to the base root ball. It's not easy, it's tough, but that's the only way you can bring this plant live. You can leave it how it is, and uh, you will see the new shoots coming uh, from the bottom like like this and uh, and like this the new shoots are coming but what will happen at the later point in time it will be difficult for you to cut the existing branch and the new ones so it's better you prune this now so that the complete growth comes from the root ball so there are two ways that you can prune this plant now one is wherever you see this green stem you can cut and uh, from the place where you cut it will try to regenerate a new shoot like this but it will not give you um, a full steady growth of leaves throughout the plant because you have dead leaves here the other alternate way for you to get the plant back to life is to prune it at the base where you have the root ball or closer to the root ball since this plant has some live tissues in the base it will regenerate new shoots after you prune the plant so now let's start pruning the oleander plant and i'm going to show you what are the tools that we need before pruning the plant and uh, anytime before you pruning with the help of the tools like this um, a small clipper like this or a big one like this you need to make sure it is fully cleaned I'm going to sanitize this and clean the cutting edge of these tools so for any plant before you prune you have to sanitize it it helps, it prevents from the disease to spread from one plant to another plant and it always makes sure 
the the plant that you're going to prune it's not infected from the other plants now let's start pruning the plant i'm going to get closer to the root ball as much as possible but i want to first see how these um, the base of the plant looks like so let me start from here little above the root and um, and you can see it still has the green tissue the live tissue on the stem this is a good sign the plant is not dead as i said it's only the leaves and some of the stems so that's a good indication that this plant will come back in next few months so now let's start pruning this plant fully And another reason why we need to prune these plants and clean these leaves immediately because oleander plant is poisonous as we all know not by just touching it um by by eating it is definitely poison for um for animals like like some of the pets if you have like a um cow or dog or anything um by by chewing couple of leaves uh, it can kill them so when it is green and when it is live normally the pets or any uh, animals don't eat these leaves because of the bitterness in the leaves but as it dries the alkaloid and the chemical substance in the leaves it's um, diminish and uh, it loses the bitterness so it is it is tend for any animals to chew some of these leaves and it is not good for them so it's better you cut and clean these leaves immediately so that it doesn't affect our animals This is a big one. I'm still going to take this off with a hard. Ah. Yes, it is tough to take them down after growing them for several years, but as I said, it will come back. you can see these new shoots coming from the base this is going to grow tall in next few months and by summer as i said we will see a 6 foot tall plant here again with that hope i'm signing off from you and i'm doing this after seeing some of the proven methods by some people maintaining the oleander plants so i'm not doing it for the first time just to be on a safer side and uh, 
I will show you this plant after a few months how it turned up and I'm going to clean this up a little better. We are also trying to propagate these stems to produce any new plants from this. I will show another video after seeing some success from this method. Talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye.